I called myself an atheist for a good while. But then later on, I had a very powerful encounter with God. I decided that I was done running away from God and I surrendered. I said, I didn't want him to send me a book or a person or a church or anything. I just wanted to be just him and me. In that moment, he wrapped himself around me and he said, you don't belong to a church. You don't belong to any group. You don't belong to anyone. You belong to me. And so my relationship has always been the father and I together. In fact, I didn't even know whether or not Christ was even going to be a part of that at all. You know, at the time, I was really uncomfortable with the word God because I was still sort of like phasing out of that atheist life. And I call him the great spirit because well, for one, he's a spirit and too. He's great. So why wouldn't I call him the why great spirit, you right? Call him that? You have a bunch of names for him. That's my name for him. You all started sharing your stories. There was a lot of things in the music and in the passages and in your stories that resonated with what I knew to be truth. When I looked at what part Christ played in that, I'm like, oh, he's my brother. The father sent someone down to be a perfect example, a living example of how I should live my life. It's about what Jesus has said. And unfortunately, Jesus didn't leave any writings himself. So the closest thing that I have to understanding what he was like is through the writings of Matthew, John, and all mm -hmm. the other. As far as me being a student of Christ, yes, I'm a student of Christ. As mm -hmm. far as me being a follower of Christ, yes, I'm a follower of Christ. There's nothing in, in his actions that so far makes me not want to follow. Set that aside for a little bit. And let's look at a thing called Christianity, which is supposed to be people following what Christ has done. Now, do I imagine Christ standing in a corner with a sign that says God hates homosexuals? No, I don't see Christ doing that. So I'm not going to follow what a church does. I'm not going to follow what a pastor does. Let's go outside of that box even more. I read this passage the other day that said, do you teach people not to lie, but are a liar yourself? Do you teach people that it's wrong to be an adulterer, but yet you are being an adulterer? If you're teaching those things and being those things, you are the reason why the world blasphemes the name of God. If you are claiming to be a follower of Christ, but are doing things that are unchrist like you are the reason why the world mm. talks bad about God. So if anybody's really angry towards God is because they're looking at you and they're not seeing a perfect example of what Christ has taught. Calling yourself a Christian is a big deal. You can't take that lightly. Let's just say it this way. My grandfather were Torres. And if you go to my hometown and you say the last name Torres, they're like, ah, the musicians. So anyone who's, who thinks Torres thinks of how pleasant my grandfather was, how loving my grandfather was, how respectful my grandfather was, and what a kind person he was and how he, how much joy he brought to people's family. And it implies that. But if there's a Torres in there that is a drug addict, that is violent towards women, that is stealing or doing things he shouldn't be doing, he's tainting my grandfather's name. So in order for you to call yourself a Christian, you have to be very careful not to taint the name of Christ.